This is my top five greatest actor of them all. On my number five, I have the comedian Jim Carrey. Someone who doesn't think that Jim is fun probably should get a better life or get better humor. Or maybe watch his movies a little better and understand his jokes because he's really good. Yep, he's really, really good. Yeah, but he's my number five. He's, he's a good comedian or... He's really good, okay. He's, he's funny. That's why he's number five. We gotta have a funny dude in the five top five, right? Gotta have a funny dude. And Jim Carrey is the funny dude. He's my number five. Yeah. So that's my number five. Well, who's my number four? Hmm. Let's give me a clue. He plays a guy that eats people. Anthony Hopkins. Like I said, Anthony Hopkins is the guy that plays Hannibal Lecter. He eats people, and, <laughs> well, I think that Anthony Hopkins should be my number four, because, man, it's gotta be hard playing a guy that eats people, really, and, uh, he's my number four, <laughs> yep, Anthony Hopkins, he's a great actor for playing a dude that eats people, really great. Okay, so who's my number three then? This one will probably come as unsuspected. He's in a TV show. He's from England. He is pretty new in the business and he's Edward Westwick. Then why did I choose Ed Westwick? I mean, he's new, he's in Gossip Girl and He's not that talented and professional as the others, you may think, but I choose Ed Westwick as my number three because he comes from England, he goes to New York, and he plays with American accents in the show. And I think that's amazing, and he does it really brilliant, and uh, in his movies, I've seen a few, he's really great. And um, actually, I don't have any have Gossip Girl but I'm too lazy to pick it up but you know he's in Gossip Girl and he went was in Californication one episode I think and uh, Macy I think he's a brilliant actor and he's gonna grow really big is what I think I think that Gossip Girl is just a start for him so why did I put him on number three there's, uh, there, there's gotta be someone much better on my number two and my number one well on my number two I have someone that used to be my number one into my number one came up right now. The one I have on my number two is in a very famous film that many know, I think almost everybody knows, and his name is Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, so many of you probably know that it's Titanic that I spoke about, about Leonardo DiCaprio, and you're right. Well, I choose Leonardo DiCaprio as my number one because he's brilliant still. I mean, everybody's brilliant, of course, and I was, I've was i been a really big fan of him uh, since the beginning. I watched him in mostly every movie he's in. Revolutionary Road, Titanic, Romeo and Julia, The Beach. Marvin's Room, Gilbert Grape, everything. And you know, in Gilbert Grape, he comes and he plays this mental sick kid, or, yeah, and it's amazing just to watch that. How amazing is that? And it's supposed to be his first movie. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio, he's someone to be proud of, a really great actor, and he gets a lot of credit for it. And I get it, he's a great actor, and he should get a credit because he's amazing. At acting, he is. I mean, he's actually, he has, he's actually oh, going into so much in his characters that I'm actually, wow, I think he's, I think he's great. Well, he was my 
number one. But if I think that Leonardo DiCaprio is so good, and who can be better and be in my number one? Well, you guys, I'm gonna give you a clue. I did a movie review of him the today actually, but for you who watch this some other day, it's I don't remember the date. <laughs> Well, I did a movie review of him today when I put up this video, probably gonna stand when I did. So, I put it up today on the movie review, and he was in that movie. I love his movies. I really do, and he just came up like a few months ago, and I started to be addicted to his movies. And his name is Edward Norton. American History X, Fight Club, The Painted Veil, Red Dragon, that's Edward Norton. Just a few of his movies and he acts brilliantly. Great, I mean seriously Edward Norton, he is amazing. I'm gonna, oh, I just wanna walk through every movie he has and like the, why he's amazing. I'm gonna start like The Painted Veil, I talked to it the review I made. Well, he plays the English guy and he's obviously American, I guess. He's great. Does a great job with a British accent. And I heard what he did on the, when he played it, but he got kicked up a horse or something, but he continues. I mean, he's a strong ass boy. He's brilliant, my favorite. And here, Fight Club. Here is the one I think that he acts great. Actually, I think he takes Brad Pitt's place, but everybody's like, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, when he watches. And I'm all like, Edward Norton, Edward Norton, Edward Norton. It's funny because the only movies I watch with him is because he's in it. So he plays this guy that's schizophrenia. I'm actually gonna re movie review this. And um, amazing, he acts really good. And here. Here comes the movie I watched, first of him of all movies ever, and I can say that I'm really, really impressed, and just as I watched it, I'm like, shit, I gotta watch that actor, I gotta see who he is, because he's brilliant, and it's from the American History X, where he plays, plays Derek Vineyard, yeah, and uh, he's brilliant, okay, I can just say that he's brilliant all the time, and the uh, gonna take eight years for me to go through the movie, so I'm not gonna do that. But in American History X, he's great, ooh, he's great in every movie. And it's really good on Bacon 2, characters his own. Like, Lisa's Grass, I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm like, like really sneaky and bad. But I've seen it. He plays actually himself in two characters there. He plays him big, he, well, what, he, what is it? Twins, he plays twins, he plays himself, look, look. I think he's so great, I'm like shaking. He's a really great actor. And you really have to get into the movies to actually understand how he acts and the way he acts. In Primal Fear, he actually plays, plays actually two personal, that he has, he's a kid with two personal, yeah, he plays like that. And it's amazing how he can do that. And, uh, wow, he's great. Shake him out, shake him out, shake him out, shake him out, shake him out. He's a great actor. He plays the hook too, by the way. Well, shake Edward Norton out, or I will get mad at you. Well, yeah. Bye. Number two, Leonardo DiCaprio. My number three, who the hell was it? It was Ed Westway. It was <laughs> number four, Anthony Hopkins, and number five, Jim Carrey. That was my five uh, actors that I love the most. Click anywhere around here to see any of the top fives you wanna see. Good. <laughs>